This better be important. <clears throat> Behold, the melody is complete. Impossible. Could we finally be nearing the end? I completed the melody. Do you know what to do next? Well, I guess it's only fair. Okay, I officially forgive you for saying my shop didn't look like a shop. What? When we first met, I was really happy to show you the place, and then you said it didn't look like a shop. Have you been bitter all this time? I was just trying to do trying to do small talk. Sure, whatever. That's behind us now. Seeing how much progress you've made, it's about time I filled you in on what's really going on. Here we go. Oh, snap. Eons ago, a civilization of giants lived in the clouds, protecting the world from unknown forces. Ooh, hydration. Centuries went by in harmony, until one day they watched helplessly as the world suffered a massive flood. Ooh, no bueno, no bueno. Only a single piece of land remained. Ever adaptive, humanity gathered its survivors and built a huge temple where they would try to find new meaning. Ooh. <laughs> Answering the call of these troubled times, a formidable couple stepped up to be their leaders. Very epilogish. Very nice, very nice. Gifted with a beautiful voice and an otherworldly ability to create mesmerizing trinkets, everyone called her Muse. And he, ever stoic, fearless, and mysterious, would become known as Phantom. After a decade of relative stability, the skies began flashing red as if a war was being waged against the Sky Giants. Ooh. Very, very retro game-esque. Uh, Indeed, an army of demons, destroyers of worlds, had found the human realm. With humanity's protectors soon to be extinct, Muse and Phantom inspired everyone to prepare for the inevitable onslaught. Ooh, the story, the exposition. The demon army was too strong, the temple was lost, and Muse was killed while trying to protect her people. Oof, it sucks. Some badass music, though. Fighting back tears, Phantom picked up her final creation to keep as a memento, a music box. Abandoning the temple to the Demon King, he led the last survivors of his race to the western edge of the island. Where they settled and became the people who trained to kick his ass, right? Do I have that correct? That final stand proved successful, and after instructing his people to rebuild and stay hidden, Phantom pushed his luck. Uh-oh. He pushed it. Blinded by rage, he darted towards the temple in a foolish attempt to take down the Demon King. Now, this, is, this exposition is really cool. They should hurry it up just a tiny bit. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Come on. Insulted by the boldness of this broken being, the Demon King opted for a punishment worse than death. Ooh. No bueno. Corrupting his love's memento with demon magic, he turned Phantom's music box into a tether to the human realm. Oof. That sucks, man. Every 500 years, they would come back to torture humanity until they abandoned all hope and surrendered to extinction. Oof. Phantom was forced to wear a cursed mask which would seal his mind and keep him in a state of perpetual distress. Ooh, that sucks, man. That's no bueno. Inserted into the music box, he would play the organ forever to keep the relic's magic alive. Ugh. It's a bummer, dude. Say an X, what's up? In this both mental and physical prison, he would be the one to ensure the curse on his legacy was maintained. 
But Phantom's will was a strong one, offering lapses of sanity where he could tap into his growing understanding of demon magic. Ooh. Ooh. Whoop, whoop. I pushed something. What did I push? What did I do? Okay, okay, we're back, we're back. <laughs> the fight to get rid of the curse would last centuries, so his people would need the ability to cooperate across generations. Oof. And so, again, it's, it's a little, it's a little too long. Time travel was the key. With his last stretch of sanity, he wrote a scroll, imbuing it with enough power to attune its carrier to time magic. Ooh. Before losing his mind completely, he teleported his final hope, the scroll, to his people's hideout. Yeah. That's right. As they soon realized, the scroll let them see strange manifestations, things not every mind could stand. There's a little bit of a look at all the messengers throughout the years. Only a few brave adventurers had a strong enough will to carry the scroll. They called them messengers. Yeah, what do you know? <laughs> With the ability to step through space-time tears, they had access to the Void, a safe haven outside of time. Messengers from all time periods would soon gather there, the perfect meeting point for their endless war. But as it turned out, meeting denizens of the future, or even one's alternate self, could be troubling for some. Ooh. After a few incidents of more primitive messengers going into shock, they opted to conceal their appearance. Mm -hmm. And thus the blue robes were born. Damn. Oh shit, Kelly raid. I was just thinking of raiding you, Kelly. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, what's up? Every curse cycle would have its champion who would join the order after passing the scroll on to the next messenger. Hope you had a good stream, Kelly. I'm only going for like another 20, 30 minutes. As soon as I beat the final boss here, I'm wrapping up too. Of the blue robes after many cycles, the music box was reclaimed from the forlorn temple. Even though the relic was too powerful to be destroyed, a new hope was found on that day. Was it really? Even though the relic was too powerful to be destroyed, a new hope was found. Yep, mysterious forces of the world started materializing in the form of magical musical notes in order to break the curse and perhaps save the, uh, the one trapped within. Maybe. <laughs> After one particularly gifted messenger managed to gather two of them, an idea emerged. An idea just crazy enough that it might work. Gather the notes. Put back together the melody, and then move on. Yep, go inside and rescue Phantom. I'll see what I can do. Cool. So there you have it. I'm not sure what you will find inside the box, but if we have one shot at saving Phantom, this is it. Be on your guard, as mine will have conjured all sorts of traps. Good luck out there. Yeah, I'm sure it won't be hard. <laughs> the music box beckons. Are you ready to face your last challenge, messenger? Sure, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> and into the box we go. Hooray, hurrah, huzzah, huzzah.